Today, we are searching for an old abandoned semi truck from the 1970s to upgrade into the strongest heavy haul truck. But before we can do that, we need to search for several important parts to make this build complete. Hey, what's up guys? I just finished talking to a customer about relocating their home to another part of the county. And while I was out here, I actually ran into a 17 year old kid and he told me the craziest story that you guys are probably not even going to believe. So we're gonna head to our shop and I'm gonna tell you guys what happened. But anyway, he said that he has been watching our videos on YouTube and he actually has been binge watching our videos, especially the ones about us repairing abandoned vehicles. And that is because his grandfather actually lost a truck in the 1990s guys which is crazy apparently it's like a 1978 Ford I'm not sure what model it is but it's a semi truck and his grandfather lost it and he wants to try to restore it and become a truck driver so pretty much his grandfather was a truck driver and his father was a truck driver and he wants to follow in their footsteps and become a truck driver so he's only 17 years old but he will be 18 soon and I figured if we can recover the truck for him we can gift it to him and that could help him start his career as a truck driver now this is going to be a very challenging thing to do today guys because we're going to have to go out into the forest and this vehicle has been sitting for like 31 years oh my god what's going on at the shop there's always something let me speed up and go check that out but yeah the thing has been sitting there for so long guys so this is going to be a challenge plus we have bad weather moving into the area too so if we do not get this thing in time we're going to lose our opportunity to get it and we may not be able to recover it for like a week or two because we're supposed to have very bad rain that is hitting los santos for like the next week and a half and it's going to be flooding it's going to be a lot of stuff going on so i told him i'm going to be super busy once that happens so i'm gonna have to try to recover it today now in order to get this done we're going to bring out our off-road heavy wrecker well it's not really a heavy wrecker but it's an off-road wrecker the wastelander this thing is a beast so we're going to take that head out into the forest and see if we can locate his truck now he did give me the location of it he shared the location he also showed me some pictures of it and it's in a very bad state i actually want to show you guys but i don't want to spoil it yet so you guys are probably just gonna have to wait until we get there but we're gonna have to do some crazy things to get it out of the place where it is stuck like there's trees growing through it and stuff like that like it, it's gonna be a challenge so we're gonna have to try to cut it free and do all of that before the rain rolls in as you guys can see it's already super cloudy so we gotta hurry up before it gets too late so first thing we got to do is uh, get the chains attached on the wastelander so we can go ahead and roll out this thing has been put in and work lately. We've been doing so many recoveries. Now that we have it chained down, the second thing we have to do is get the neck back onto the trailer, which I have just done. And third, we need to figure out what semi truck we are going to be taking for today. Uh oh. Oh, he's about to pit him. Damn, they may call us later to go pick that up. But yeah, um, because of the terrain, I think we're going to go with the smaller truck, the Kenworth W900. I would take the bigger one, but I know where we're going. is We're not going to have that much space and clearance is going to be an issue. So I think this truck is going to be easier to maneuver. So let's go ahead and get started and see if we can get this truck completed. And like I was saying, guys, um, you know he's a young kid he's almost 18 he want to get his cdl and stuff like that so he doesn't really like have money and stuff his family hasn't been able to recover the vehicle in all these years and no tow truck company really wanted to even attempt it because of how dangerous of a location it's in so basically what i'm trying to say is this is going to be like an expensive job but because of the circumstances and you know he's kind of a fan of ours and stuff like that i'm gonna try to help him out for free man like i i really really feel like i want to make a difference in this guy's life he sounds like a cool kid and i want to help him out you know so we're gonna try our best to see if we can get this job done and who knows maybe he'll be able to become not only a truck driver but a heavy haul truck driver we do have some heavy hauls that we have to deliver in about a week or two so i feel like that would be a good test for the truck like imagine we could recover the truck really bro you don't see this big 
giant thing in front of you come on man but yeah like i was saying imagine we can recover the vehicle and like put it into a good say like repair it and then we could get it to haul an oversized load like I, that would be cool like i don't know i would love to do that if i was like 17 years old and wanted to be a truck driver so i think that's what i'm gonna do for the guy i'm gonna see if i could set up that load up for him and i'm gonna teach him how to drive it so we have a lot of work to do today guys and it all starts with us making it to the location we're about halfway to the location now, i'm not going to be able to drive the truck the whole way so i'm gonna try to go as far as i can and then we'll switch back to the off-road wrecker for the rest of the journey. But we're going to have to go all the way up there into the forest, guys. Look how densely populated this area is with trees. It's going to be crazy. So we're almost here. And I think we're going to have to set up our truck somewhere here. And then go the rest of the way with the off-road wrecker. Yeah, we got to get all the way up there. And I don't think my truck can make it. It probably could, but I don't want to push it. So let's disconnect from the trailer. And I'll park my truck over here. I already removed all of the chains. So I'm going to remove the neck now. And we can hop into the truck and head to the location. Just got to climb all the way up here. Oh, I love the way this engine sounds. This thing is amazing. All right, here we go, guys. So we're heading in. Now I'm gonna look at my phone. He shared, he like dropped a pin on where the location is. Whoop! Oh my God, I don't wanna kill any animals. Come on, watch out. But yeah, as I was saying, he dropped a pin on where it's at. I think I need to go up here past the bridge. And oh, yeah, I remember where I have to go now. So. I have to go up this trail and this is why I really need this off-road vehicle because I am not getting a heavy wreck up there. I am not getting a tow truck up there. I am not getting a semi truck up there. So we're kind of forced to use this thing, but this thing is a beast, which is great. Now guys, I just remembered one more thing about the story that I forgot, like one of the most important things about the story. And that is there was a big wildfire in this area, like about five or seven years ago or so a lot of the trees has like grown back and stuff like that um, most of the trees were okay like most of the lower stuff is what got torched but the problem is the wildfire like destroyed the truck so like the truck was already destroyed and the wildfire made it worse so just be prepared this thing is going to be in some bad shape once we find it so now looking at my phone here i think i gotta make a turn and head south up this trail now you're probably wondering what was his grandfather doing up here with that semi truck well he was a logger and they had to drive up these crazy roads you know bring the trees and the logs down so they came up here cut the trees and then they had to bring them back down to the sawmill but um that was such a long time ago that all the trees have grown back since then now according to the gps here it should be right here so let's get out and take a look at this thing the weather seems to be holding up for now i do have to be careful because it gets very steep here and i don't have any harnesses or anything on so if i slip i'm pretty much dead and i'm not seeing the truck yet sometimes these like pins when you drop them they are a little off but it should be somewhere over here so i'm gonna just keep looking Still not seeing anything yet. Just a lot of trees, rocks. Again, I gotta watch my foot in. Oh, whoa, there it is. Okay, we found it. That's half of the problem, but look how steep this area is. Oh my goodness. How the heck am I gonna get this? Okay, so apparently it slid down here when he was driving it and it's been stuck there ever since. And now I can see why no other tow truck company from the 90s wanted to attempt this rescue. Because first off, they would have had to get a truck here. And second, this is, a, this is like, this is very bad. So, so I have to figure out how to get down there so I could take a look at this thing without falling all the way down. Um, there's really no way to go about this besides going very slow and hoping that if I do slip, the tree or the truck would break my fall. Maybe if I just take small steps like this. Oh, I think this is working. Oh, 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 oh. Damn. ouch, ow. Oh. Damn, that hurts. Okay, we're here. Wow. All right, so 
It looks like we have some trees holding this up. Like this big tree right here. But we also have a tree through the cabin. And unfortunately, yeah, that's, yeah, that's going to make this very hard to get out. So I'm thinking I'm going to need a saw and seeing if I could cut these trees down. Now, I don't have a, ch uh oh, I fell again. <laughs> I didn't want to talk about me falling down the mountain and hurting myself, but I could have died and I do not want to fall again. So because of that, I now have some rigging equipment and I have a tripod that's gonna help me keep my footing. And I called Alex to come up here too. So Alex is up here with the flatbed and pretty much what we did was um, winch or pretty much tie his truck to my truck. And then we're gonna tie this truck to that big thick tree right there because that's not going anywhere and then he's going to be able to make sure that i do not fall down so i'm going to set up my tripod right here and that way i can lower myself down now i'm going to have to go down there with a saw and that's pretty much why i'm taking all of these precautions because you guys saw me fall without anything in my hand and i do not want to fall with a saw in my hand so let me try to get this set up and i'm gonna see if i can put it behind this truck and we now have it set up so that will give me a point to kind of hang on to and lower myself down while i am doing all of the cuts now i do not have a chainsaw guys i'm not really into cutting but i do have a k-12 saw normally we use it for like rescues and firefighting you can also use it for like concrete cutting and stuff like that it's not really made to cut trees i know that but and this situation is all I have, so I'm gonna grab it. The weather is starting to deteriorate, guys. Like, as you can see, the clouds are getting lower. It looks like it's about to start raining any moment now, so we really need to hurry up. I'm gonna try to lower myself down and cut these trees off of this truck. So I know this looks kind of crazy with what I'm doing, but it's okay, we got this, guys, don't worry. So we're lowering ourselves down, and I'm gonna try to get all the way down to the tree so that I could start cutting all this stuff away and we can recover that truck. I still haven't even been able to get a good look at this thing, <laughs> but I mean, it's kind of burnt up from the wildfire, so there's really not much to see right now, but I'm hoping by the time we're done with recovering it, it will look beautiful again. But we're slowly making our way down here. This feels much safer than what we did the first time when I fell down. Coming out here by myself was a bad idea though. I, I really should have had backup because I could have died on this one. Okay, I think we're in a good spot. So I'm gonna try to release myself. But what I'm gonna do is see if I could maybe anchor myself into one of these branches so that at least I won't fall when I let go. So right now what I'm trying to do is cut this tree from out of this semi-truck cab so that we can free it. I know this looks a little bit crazy with the sparks, but it's working as you guys can see. So now we have a couple more branches to worry about. I see this one right here. Let me see if I can cut it. Come on, come on, come on, get out of here. Oh, we can see inside the cab, man. This thing was burnt up. That sucks, but I'm really hoping we can make this look nice again. All right, so after looking at the truck, I think this is the last tree I need to cut. And after that, we should be able to pull it straight up. So let's see if we can get this one. I think I got a good angle on this tree. So once we clear it, we should have a straight shot to get the truck out. There we go, finally. That took forever, okay. Now, I think we can pull the truck out. So I'm gonna have to go up, put the saw down and then bring a winch down, attach it somewhere and then start pulling it back up. So let me make my way back up to the truck. And now the rain is coming in. It's not that heavy yet, but it's supposed to get worse. So we gotta try to get this done fast before that heavy rain comes in. So what I'm gonna do now is get this truck out of the way so that we can bring in the wrecker and try to pull it up. Uh oh, come on, come on, come on. That was close. We nearly went over the edge with this truck. That would have not been nice. So now it's show time and we're gonna put this truck to the test and see if I can pull 
that thing up this hill. I need it to stay like right here. So do not move. Got the brake set. I should probably, you know what? Let's let's get a line. Alex, get a line like to that tree, to my truck, while I hook up the other truck, all right? Because I do not want this thing sliding down. So let's see if we can do this. This incline is ridiculous, guys. My truck wants to fall right now. As you guys can see, it's actually going down. But I do have it attached. Uh oh, uh oh, oh man, almost died again. I do have it attached to the semi truck. If you guys can see, there's a line right there to the front of it. And it's going to the back of my truck. So I'm going to see if I can pull it up now before my truck goes over. So right now, guys, the rain started coming down very hard. And I'm attempting to pull this thing up looks like we got it come on come on oh we're sliding we're sliding i need to go to the left come on come on come on yes we got it oh uh oh uh oh uh oh whoa 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 whoa, whoa. oh we're about to get wrapped around a tree okay we're good oh that was crazy let me get this disconnected that was bad but we got it done and that's all that matters so now we need to try to get this thing to our low boy at the bottom of the mountain so i'm gonna see if i can get it into the bed if not i'm gonna have to just drag it all the way down the mountain hopefully it could fit though I'm just gonna try to pull it here onto this little road and now we'll try to back up to it and see if we could get it loaded to my surprise it actually fits it does hang off a little bit but that is perfectly fine we just need it to get down the mountain so i went ahead and chained it up as you guys can see the rain is coming down we did take some damage to our truck though which is a little bit unfortunate but this thing was made to work like this so that stuff is cosmetic and it can get replaced or repainted buffed out whatever it'll be fine but i'm tired of getting soaked and wet i would say let me get into my truck where i won't get soaking wet but this thing <laughs> is still getting wet as all the water is coming in guys this thing wasn't really made to be out here in the uh elements like this but it is what it is so we have recovered a truck that has been sitting here for 31 years guys that is crazy I think Cody is going to be so excited when he sees this thing and his grandfather is going to be proud. And we got to be careful heading back to our truck because this area is very muddy and unpredictable. The last thing we want is a mudslide. I'm trying to remember, how do I even get out of here? Where did I even come from? I don't even know. I think it's this way. That's a tree. I may be lost, guys. Where the heck is my truck? I think we came by that road, wasn't it? I remember seeing a bridge. I think this is it. I think we went up on the other side. Oh, oh, two wheel in it. We're good. Yeah, I think we went up that side. So we came around the other side. So this should take us back to our semi truck. Oh, I just went bowling. I did not mean to do that. I'm sorry, dear. I'm having second guesses on if I'm going the right way or not. I really don't know. Everything looks different in the rain. I think I am. So it turns out I was going the wrong way. Luckily, we do have GPS. Oh, oh, man. So I was able to pinpoint my truck and now we're heading back to it. You know what I think happened? We came down on the other side of the mountain or something like that. And I got disorientated. Because what we really did was we came up here and that's the trail that we went up, I think. Yeah, that's the trail we went up over there. So, uh-oh, that's what happened. Now, I don't think we can fit on that bridge. So I'm about to find another way down where the exhaust stacks are a little bit too high for that bridge. So we're going to have to try to get down this way. Got very precious cargo here. I got to get this mission done. And of course, I don't want to lose my life and have my tow truck turn into a YouTube video of somebody trying to rescue an abandoned tow truck from a stupid tow truck driver that came out here in these bad conditions. Oh my God, <laughs> this is crazy. All right, um, I think my truck is up there and I got to figure out how to get up there. Um, wait, if I turn around, I think I can full send it if I don't get stuck in this water first. Oh my God, do you guys think I'm going to make this? I'm going to try it. Oh man, we made it. Where the heck is my semi-truck? Is it up here? I see it, finally. 
Oh, I'm tired of being lost. Okay, guys. We made it back to the truck. The rain really disorientates you. It's so hard to see. Everything looks different from when we first came, but that's okay. We made it back, and that's all that matters. I got the truck turned around, and we can now head back to our shop. Weather is still terrible, but I'm happy that we are at least out of most of it. Happy to be back in my truck because being out on foot is terrible. Like, it was starting to get very cold out here. We may have another problem. Are we going to fit? The smokestacks on this truck are so tall. I think we're good, though. I don't hear anything. Don't see anything. Looks like we cleared it. Uh-oh. I accidentally ran something over and now this guy's mad. He's chasing me. I didn't mean to run over that animal. It ran in front of me. All right, I'm going to stop and see if I could just talk to him. Is that a mountain lion? He's giving me the middle finger. Oh, shoot. Is that a gun? He got a gun. All right, he's giving up, I think. Hey, man. Can we just talk about this? Where did he go? Hey, where is he? Oh, wait, is he fighting a mountain lion now? I think he's fighting a mountain lion. Oh, nope, 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 nope. He's not fighting a mountain lion. He's fighting me. He is fighting me. Where is the mountain lion? I want the mountain lion to attack. Oh, he just shot up my wrecker. Okay, now this is personal. Be lucky I don't have a gun. I will definitely shoot back. I was not expecting to get into a shootout today. Or at least get shot at today, I should say. I really should get a firearm so I could defend myself. After a heck of an experience, we are finally back at the shop. So we could get this truck unloaded and I'll give it to my mechanics so they can start working on it. Because of this heavy rain, like all of the light duty fleet has been dispatched out and they are all responding to calls. We're going to place the truck into this bay right here and then I'll have my mechanics start working on it. But before they can do that, we're going to have to figure out what it needs. And honestly, it looks like it's going to need a lot. It is now the next day and our mechanic Michael said we are going to need a lot of parts. So what I did was look on Facebook Marketplace and I found an RV for sale. Now you're probably wondering how is an RV going to help us with repairing a truck? Well, it will all make sense once we see it. So we're going to head out with the heavy record now and check out this advertisement. And luckily, this thing is pretty close. So if everything works out, I should be able to grab it and bring it back to the shop without a problem. I believe they're going to be at one of these houses, but I don't think it's this one. I believe it's off in the distance somewhere. So let me go to the right and see if I can figure out where exactly they are at. Or actually, it may be behind us. I don't even know. These roads don't really have good addresses out here. Oh wait, I think it's over there to our left. I see it. Yeah, we're going the right way. We're good. Wait a minute. One of our own trucks is here too. Maybe they're upgrading their trucks. That's interesting. But here is the RV or what was planned to be an RV. Apparently, this lady's husband was trying to convert this semi truck into like some type of RV or maybe he was trying to do like an extended sleeper. I don't even know. It's kind of weird, but he has that I guess this is like a bus end or something he was trying to use as a show and he was going to build it. But unfortunately, that didn't work out. But I'm wondering why one of my trucks is here because she didn't mention that he works for me. Maybe he does. I don't, I don't know. Let me talk to her and see what's going on. Looks like she's out here sitting in the front of her house. Hello, ma'am. My name is Jay. I'm here from uh, Ace Towing. Actually, that doesn't matter, but I am interested in purchasing your truck over there that your husband is trying to turn into an RV. My dear husband passed away. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that, ma'am. I had no idea your husband died. You know my son, Jason? He works for Ace Trucking. Oh, your son works for Ace Trucking. Oh, wow. Oh, I did not even know that. That's, this is where he lived. You're his mother. Oh, okay. So this is Jason's mother. Well, nice to meet you, ma'am. I'm sorry we had to meet under these unfortunate terms. It's okay. My husband lived a long life. So how much were you looking to get for that truck over there? $25,000 to help cover the bills. 
Oh, 25,000. Oh, yeah, it looks like. Let me take a look at it one more time. So she wants 25K. I'm sorry, lady. I know your husband died, but I am not giving you 25K. Let's see what's wrong with it, though. It looks like it's missing a front tire, but that's pretty cheap. We got a little bit of body damage. But I'm going to tell you what we mainly need, guys. We need the exhaust stacks. We need the fuel tanks. We need the rear end, which looks to be in perfect condition. And that's going to be mainly everything we need. Oh, and if the engine is good, we'll definitely can use the engine, too. So I'm going to try to lowball her a little bit. I'm going to try to give her... Hey man, um, unfortunately that truck does have a lot of issues with it and it's going to take like a lot of work for me to get it back on the road. So the best I can do is about $9,000. $9,000? Are you kidding me? No, ma'am. I'm, I'm not trying to lowball you. Okay, how about how about 15000 Is that better? Okay, you can put that away, ma'am. Okay, I, I, please don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I don't want to die. Um, okay, I'll give you 20000 That's all I have. I swear, I only have 20000 I'm sorry. Are you lying to me? No, I'm not lying. Please, please, just put the gun down. That's all I have. Fine. Send it to my cash app. Okay, ma'am, I'll cash app it to you right now. I just need your phone number sent. Okay, so the money has been sent to the lady. Man, I feel like I got extorted. Like, I wasn't, I didn't want to spend $20,000. That $9,000 was too much. She just ripped me off for this thing, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's go ahead and try to tow this thing back to the shop, take it apart, and then use it to fix the other truck, but... Wow, I was not expecting for that to happen. I'm going to have to talk to Jason when I get back to the trucking company because this is ridiculous. Like, I literally got held at gunpoint by his mother, but I'm not going to press charges or anything. I, I, just, I don't know. It's just an all-around bad situation, honestly, but it is what it is. Anyway, we got the truck. Let's tow this thing back to the shop and see what we can do with it. This is not something you see every day. Kind of sad that the guy passed away. It looks like he's about to build something really cool out of it, but at least I'll be able to give this thing another life. Made it back to the shop with the truck. Unfortunately, I lost a little bit of my pride. A little embarrassed about what happened, but it is what it is. What am I gonna do, shoot an old lady? That wouldn't look good. But with that being said, we can now use the rotator to lift that bus up into the air. And we got it up in the air. I'm gonna hold it right there. Perfect. Now we're gonna move this other truck out the way. It doesn't start, so I'm gonna have to grab the heavy wrecker again. So we're gonna try to slide underneath this truck, attach to it, lift it up just a little bit, and pull forward. And now it is free from, I guess, turning into a motorhome like that guy wanted. And now it is free, so we can back it up into the shop. Now we're going to lower this thing back down to the ground. And I'll use my loader to go throw it on the side somewhere. Perfect. This rotator always comes in handy. Whether we're working on something crazy at the shop like this, or if we're on the side of the road doing some type of recovery, this rotator is amazing. So now I'm going to have my mechanic come in and get to work. They're going to have to replace a lot of the body panels, the interior. I didn't even think about the interior. They're going to have to get What the heck was that? That's kind of scary. You got to be careful with these old trucks. Did I, like, touch something? Oh, shoot. Okay, I have no idea what that is. I'm not even gonna touch anything. I'm just gonna let them know to be careful and work on switching this stuff out. But the main parts we're gonna need again are gonna be the fuel tanks, the whole rear end, the fifth wheel, and possibly the interior too, because I didn't even realize how destroyed it is. Hopefully the engine in this thing works because that would save us some money. Just making my way back to the shop. It's been about five days of running all over the place to pick up parts actually had to stop and pick up this blue car that broke down but while we were working on that i was in the middle of picking up the engine for the truck unfortunately we were not able to save the engine that was in the uh, other truck that we bought and then the one that we rescued from the mountain that was burnt down so i had no choice but to purchase a new engine and when i say new it's not like 100 percent new it's remanufactured it did cost us a lot of money. I think it was about $7,000, which does suck, but hopefully it'll be worth it in the end. 
So to unload it, I'm going to use a forklift since it's going to be easier because once we tilt the bed for the car, it's going to kind of be hard to get it off. So let's get this to slide in without damaging our truck. Now we can lift it up and let's get it into the shop. Here is a little bit of a sneak peek of the truck. As you guys can see, it's pretty much done, but we still have to paint it and get the engine swapped out. So we'll place this right here and then our mechanic can get to work. This project took longer than I thought it was going to take. Like I was hoping we'll knock this out faster, but it is finally done. So it ended up being a Ford 9000. I don't remember if I ever mentioned that during a video or not, but it's a Ford 9000. I believe it's from the 1970s, like 1978 exactly. But here it is. Three, two, one there it goes guys take a look at this truck this thing came out amazing so much chrome on the front like i feel like this thing is blinding and this thing is slammed too look at that beautiful truck we got the rims looking nice and shining the rear end looking good definitely was a good idea taking that other truck from that lady but man, everything came out great. The exhaust, I wanna actually show you guys the engine too. You could kinda of see through it a little bit. We put a nice Caterpillar engine in there, which should give this thing plenty of power, which we're gonna need because, I don't know if I mentioned it already guys, but we have to put this to the test. We have to pull an oversized load with it. So there's actually a job I gotta to do today, so I'll tell you guys about it after we take a look at this engine. So there it is guys, this thing is beautiful caterpillar one of the best engines that you guys can get in a truck that thing looks awesome so now that we have the truck ready to go we're gonna head down to the docks and pick up the oversized load i already went ahead and got the trailer ready we're gonna have to use our heavy haul trailer which is gonna be a fun challenge for this truck i mean pulling it with no cargo should be perfectly fine but once we put the cargo on it that is going to be the real test of this thing so we have two individual trailers and they are connected so we're going to connect our truck to the first one and then we can head out we are now attached and before we go i'm going to show you guys the interior of the cab i got this giant <laughs> stick right here switch gears gear stick but yeah, everything looks nice, guys. It's beautiful. And one of my favorite things about the day cab is just being able to look behind me like that. Like, this really comes in handy if we got to back up. Um, wait a minute, guys. We got we got a problem. You see how much smoke is coming out? We're, like, literally rolling coal right now. I'm trying to move. We can't move forward. Hold up. Oh, there we go. Oh, I was going to say, we better be able to get some traction and move. I don't understand why we can't. We put a very good engine in this thing. I guess maybe it was the dirt. I don't know. But anyway, truck is looking good, guys. This thing is nice. So let's head down to the docks and I'll catch up with you guys once we get there. Made it down to the docks and this is where we got to pick up our cargo. I believe it's going to be a really big steel beam and we got to take that to a construction site. Why are you all the way on my side of the road? Go over, man. You don't see the line? This guy drunk or something? But this is where we have to go to pick up the load. And I have a feeling we're going to have to back in because there's not much space to turn around in there. Maybe there is. Let's see. They opened up the gate for us. I got the load hooked up and now I'm going to try to take it out so you guys can see it since it's so dark in here. It looks like we're barely clearing the fence to this place. The top of it at least. Now for this load we do not have any pilot cars. We do not have any escorts. We are all on our own. So I'm going to have to make sure we are paying attention and not messing up because you guys already know how bad everybody in this city drives but here is the beam that we have to deliver it's pretty good size good amount of weight but nothing that we can't handle oh my god nearly crashed i thought we were gonna hit that building and i nearly hit that dock jockey oh my goodness all right let's focus it looks like we may actually take out this sign hold up i think we're gonna have to go on the other side so we don't hit it 
Okay, we're gonna pull all the way to the left and try not to hit this sign. And it looks like we cleared it. So we have to be very mindful of our height on this journey. So let's make sure we're paying attention. We also have a couple of crazy turns we're gonna have to take. I'm not even sure if I can listen to the GPS for this first one that's coming up. Now they want me to go up and out of here. I don't know if I can make that, guys. This is gonna be very tricky because we gotta avoid the security booth, but then we gotta cut enough so that we don't hit anything else. Are we going to make this turn? I'm going to try it. If we get stuck, we are in a lot of trouble because there's nothing that's going to be able to get us out of here. Okay, it looks like we're getting it, but I'm getting hooked up on something. Let me try again. Oh, shoot. Yeah. That's a problem, guys. There's no way I'm going to make this. But I'm going to try. That was extremely sketchy, guys. I should not have done that because I could have ended up in the water or something. But yeah, notice of do not do that again. Why are all these cars going through the red light? We got the green. Come on, man. We got it. So we got about a mile and a half to go. I think the rest of the drive shouldn't be too bad. Main thing we're just going to want to look out for is traffic and making sure they don't hit us and I don't hit them. We are nearly at the construction site. So far, everything has been going well. We want to make sure we clear this overpass, though. It's a little lower than I thought it was going to be. It appears that we're good, though. It's gonna take it nice and easy. I'm hoping this side isn't lower. We only have a couple of inches to work with, which is kind of sad, but you know, size doesn't matter. But anyway, back on topic. There are a lot of cars here, so I gotta make sure none of them does anything foolish like that guy just did. And for this one, we're gonna have to stay wide, but I gotta make sure nobody tries to pass me on the right. And I I think we got it. Oh, they want us to go up. Hold up. i watch that car behind us. Man, we are really putting this truck to work today, guys. But she seems to be doing what we are asking her to do. So that is great. We're coming up on the construction site now. So just got to get around these last couple of cars and then we will be done. We made it to the construction site. And I believe they're gonna use one of these cranes to lift this beam into place. So we'll just pull the truck right here and then they can do what they have to do. And we have successfully delivered this load. So I'm gonna get it unchained so that the crane can pick it up. But I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what I should do next. But click right here to watch me search for an abandoned vehicle that has been lost for over 20 years and try to restore it into a working truck. Click here to watch and I'll see you guys over there.